Hi again, everyone. So today I have a um, something new, new for me anyways, and I finally got my first Stitch Fix box. I don't know if you guys have heard of that before. Um, I hadn't heard of it until recently, and I'm trying to think of how I heard about it. It might have been through my Pop Sugar box, or they may, may have just sent me a random email. Um, either way, uh, you go to like stitchfix.com and you fill out like a like a profile, like a huge survey. At least I thought it was pretty big. And I think they're trying to figure out like what your style is. Um, because what they do is they send you about five items. Um, comes in a you know good size box. Five different items to look at and it can be accessories. It can be like pants, jeans, blouses, sweaters, things like that, jewelry. Um, I think even handbags. So they send you, you know, like five different things and you get to like try everything on at home. So you can try on their pieces like with your pieces. So like if they send you a blouse, you can put it on like with your pair of jeans or something like that. Um, and then if you, you keep the items that you want to keep and then they send you a like a prepaid big like envelope bag to send everything else back in. That's what I thought was cool. So, um, Whatever you don't like, you can shove in a bag, mail it back to them, drop it off at your post office or whatever, free shipping. Um, the only thing is, if you were to, to decide to ship everything from your box back, then you're charged $20. Because um, there's like a $20 stylist fee or something. But if you purchase something, you get that $20 back as like a credit, like it comes off, your, off of your purchase or whatever. And then if you keep all five items, they give you a 25% discount, which is really cool, like on everything. So anyways, I could be in a little bit of trouble here because I had a really, really good stylist. She picked out some awesome stuff and I pretty much loved everything. I'm kind of questioning one item, but that's the problem. If I don't keep the one item that I'm kind of questioning, I mean, it almost makes sense to keep all five things because of the discount, if that makes sense. So let me really quick, I'm done talking. I don't even know if you understood what I just said because I feel like I garbled it out. But um, this was the first thing that I um, grabbed out of the box and it's this Houndstooth Infinity Scarf. So it's black and white. It's really, really soft. I, I love it, I, I love it. I'm really beginning into scarves lately. And of course it's, you know, win well coming on to winter. It's pretty cold here up in Washington. And so I'm for sure keeping this, I love it. So, oh, and the other nice thing is they send you like a bunch of cards to show you how to style the pieces that you, that you get, um, which is kind of, that was for the infinity scarf in case you don't know how to do one of those. So I'm definitely going to keep this. And I think the retail price on this was like $34. Um, so I'm going to keep this. And then the second thing, and this is really, really cute. It's like a blouse. I probably should have like maybe worn some of this stuff, but isn't this cute? Okay, it's black and white, I guess, white or cream, kind of, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's cream. Um, it's got cap sleeves, and it's got the geometric print on it. It's a little bit longer in the back, it just has a black back, and it's a little bit longer than the front, not a whole lot. Look at the um, closure, though, it's really cute. It's, it's got like a, can you see that? It's like a rhinestone, like a diamond rhinestone um, for, the, for the back. Okay, this is really, 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 really cute. Now I do have a blouse already that's similar to this. Not the same print, but kind of similar, except for it has a Peter Pan collar, if that's what you call it. Um, oh my God, it's so cute though. Anyways, so I, I love this. The only thing I question, this isn't the piece that I'm questioning, although I kind of questioned it because I do have a blouse that is kind of similar. Um, but like I said, it's not the same print and that actually the collar's a little different too. Anyways, I really, really love this too. So I got this. Like I said, I think my stylist hit my style right on, right on the button, right on the button. And then um, I also got these skinny jeans, which I'm for sure keeping. These are by uh, Cut From The Cloth, I think. Cut From The Cloth. They're the Diana Skinny. You can never have too many skinny jeans. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. These are a little bit of a darker wash, but they fit really, really comfortable. I don't know if you guys are familiar with like page jeans. 
Um, they're pricey, but I practically live in them because they are so comfortable. They are just the most comfortable pair of jeans um, that I found as far as skinny jeans. I like that they don't fall off your waist when you go to sit down and show what you don't need to be showing. I mean, they, they stay in place. I just, I love them. Anyways, I, I tried these on and they fit perfect. Here's the back. Pockets aren't, I mean, they're just kind of plain, but these are really, really cute. So I'm going to keep these two. And I think these were, oh, I should tell you the prices on some of this stuff. Um, let's see. I told you the scarf was 34 The blouse I just showed you was... 48, which I don't think is that bad for a blouse like that. I mean, it's it's not great. And normally I wouldn't spend that much on a blouse like that. I would wait till it went on sale. But I mean, so that was 48. The jeans are 78, which is okay for me because I tend to spend more on my, like on my jeans, on things that I wear a lot because I do wear denim like most of the time. That's what I wear. Or I wear leggings. Um, I don't really wear a lot of skirts or a lot of dresses, so I do tend to spend a little bit more on my like my basics. Um, and then she also sent this really cute sweater. And what I like about it is it's really soft. It's gray, but look at his like that pop of color. It's got the mint green around the collar, and then also the mint green around the sleeves. It's really cute. Of course, I put this on with the skinny jeans. And it's just, it's really, really cute. It's so soft. I can always use another sweater, although I just picked up a few sweaters you saw in my like consignment store haul and thrift store haul, but I just think that's so cute because I don't have anything like that. I like that they put a little pop of color in it. And then um, at Kohl's a little over a month ago, I got those bangles that had mint green in them. So I could maybe wear the bracelets with this sweater. So I got this, and then the one thing I'm questioning and I, I mean, the only thing I question about it is it's a staple piece. And she told me that she was sending me like a lot of staple pieces. Um, let me get this in. Tangled here. Uh, okay, it's a black cardigan. It's pretty lightweight or whatever. But I don't really like the material. The material is kind of, it's, I wish it was more in a jersey, like a cotton jersey. It's, I don't know if it's polyester. I'm really not sure. Let's see. Yeah, it is polyester. 95% polyester and 5% spandex. I like the cut of it and everything. I just, I'm not sure about the material and I think it's going to snag easily. Um, maybe I can put it on. I mean, it's it would be an awesome staple piece. It's in black, which goes with everything. I mean, I could wear it today. I mean, I'm, I'll tell you why I'm probably going to keep it. Okay. Let's see, I should tell you the price on this. Okay, the sweater, sorry. The sweater was uh, 68, and this is 58. Now, I don't think that this cardigan is worth $58. Um, but the reason why I think I'm gonna actually keep everything is because I really, really like four of the things, and I do like this, other than I wish it was just a different material. It's not super soft, and like I said, I'm afraid it's gonna snag. I don't know, can you see it that it's kind of, I don't know. I mean, it is really, really cute. I mean, like I said, I can wear it today and I just might. Um, but the reason why I think I'm going to keep it is because if you keep all five pieces, you get like a 25% discount. And in my case, the 25% discount is like $66.50. So basically, I'd be getting pretty much that sweater for free or you can count that I'm getting like this for free and a little bit left over to help pay for something else. Um, see what I'm saying? So that's kind of where they get you. If you happen to love everything in your box, which I pretty much do, I just think it makes more sense to keep it all and get the 25% discount and I get the $20 stylus fee. Um, prepaid styling fee goes towards my purchase too. I could really be in trouble with this company. Um, you can sign up to have one of these boxes come every month, but I did not do that. I just wanted to try it out and see if I liked it, and I do. I think the quality of the clothing, I think the quality of the pieces that I got are great. Um, but since I'm deciding to keep all the pieces, I think I have made up my mind. Um, I probably will not do another box until maybe January. 
Like I couldn't do this every month. Maybe I'll do it in January, ring in the new year with um, some new stuff. But anyways, it, it really was fun. And you can go on their website and you can put in like the date that you want to receive your box. Like I put in the date, November 6th. Um, so I just celebrated my wedding anniversary and that's why I picked uh, November 6th. It's not today, but it was a few days ago. And I thought, oh, this could be like my anniversary present. Yeah. So um, I'm always justifying my purchases one way or another. Uh, so anyway, so that was a nice thing too. You could actually go in and pick the exact day you want your box to come. And I really like that. And I like that you don't have to get it every month. You can just do it whenever you want. So I'm really excited about this company. Um, it's called Stitch Fix again. And... I need to look to see who they're affiliated with. I, I want to say it was Pop Sugar, or maybe we just got a discount card in the Pop Sugar box. I can't remember now. But anyways, um, let me know what you guys think about all the stuff that they sent me. And um, I guess I will just see everybody in the next video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.